Welcome to a sneak attack edition of Charge Chat here at Open Sports. I am Paul Charchian from LeagueSafe.com. Today we look at running backs. Tomorrow we'll take a look at the passing games for our sneak attack segments. Uh, I've got four different running backs for you. Uh, some obvious, not so obvious. Well, I guess none are really obvious, but take a look and uh, we'll see what you think of these four guys. We begin with Leron McLean. This is maybe the most straightforward of the bunch because he's going against Indy. And if you've watched any of Indy's football over the last month, it's you know, their defense has been terrible, and they really miss Bob Sanders. The interior is of that defensive line is a disaster. But perhaps most shockingly, Leron McLean, he's had four touchdowns in the last three games and 11 carries in every game this year. That's amazing for a guy that was just totally off the radar. And, you know, he's become a productive scorer and a fantasy guy that you can count on. Colts rank dead last against the run. They're giving up 189 rushing yards per game. Leron McLean. Uh, let's talk about Thomas Jones, who's been pretty darn disappointing this year, right? Diminishing yards per carry in every game and uh, his overall yards down in four straight games before taking a slight uptick last week and most egregious, his 46-yard effort against uh, against Arizona last week, really disappointing. That should have been a breakout game. The Jets were way ahead. They were primed to run out the clock and still couldn't run. Really disappointing. That was the week before the bye. Cincinnati allowing 171 rushing yards per game, however. So Thomas Jones would have a lot of opportunities here. Um, they rank 29th against the run. Thomas Jones, guy who's been t tough on fantasy owners at this point, ought to have a very good game. Let's go to Chester Taylor. He takes on the Lions. You know, Adrian Peterson really struggled last week against the Saints on Monday Night Football. Peterson. Getting a lot more carries this year than he did last year. Chester Taylor's been more of a fringe guy, but you know, with Peterson's struggles and a game that could really tilt the Vikings' uh, way uh, throughout much of the game, uh, Chester Taylor could get a lot of extra use. The Lions terrible against the run, 30th against the run. Uh, they have the, they're allowing the second worst rushing yards per carry average at five per carry allowed. So there's going to be a lot of opportunity here. Chester Taylor, I just see getting a little extra work and. You know, he's somebody you could probably pick up off the off the waiver wire and start this week. And another guy in a similar situation, Liddell Betts, who I like even more than Chester Taylor. He's gotten double-digit touches each of the last two weeks, so he's he's already getting a lot of work. They go up against St. Louis. Now, Washington could be up by 20 against St. Louis at half, and this thing could turn into a backup fest with uh, Betts getting a lot of extra carries. If he's getting 10 touches uh, the last couple of weeks in closer games, you know, if this thing turns into a blowout, Portis is going to sit a lot longer, and Betts could get a lot of extra carries, maybe into the 15 to even 20 total touch range. So I like that part of Liddell Betts. He's probably my favorite sneaky sleeper out of this whole group. And, you know, just, uh, you know, even if you don't get to this 20 point at half idea, he's still getting a lot of carries. So a, a possible sneaky start for you against a reeling uh, uh, St. Louis Rams team. All right. Thank you for watching this sneak attack edition of Charge Chat. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.